Welcome to the Quick Start video, where we'll cover the basics and start your experience on Policy Map. To get started, use the location bar at the top of the screen to zoom into an address or a geography such as a zip code, city, or even more unique geographies. Our map is fully interactive, meaning you can pan around and zoom in or out. Rather than searching for an individual location, you can display boundaries on the map using the Boundaries menu. Users can customize the base map by clicking on the base map settings gear in the bottom right. From there, users can switch between different base map styles, remove certain map features, and even add transit lines. Once you have your preferred base map, you can add layer data using the categories at the top of the screen. Alternatively, you can search for data sets by keywords in the data search bar to quickly find the data you're looking for. Hover over an area to see the value for each geography. The layer legend on the left side of the screen will display all the information needed to read the map, including the data title, the year, the variable, the values for each range, and the geography the data is being aggregated by. For more information on the data layer, click on the eye icon, which will display a description of the data set and provide a link to our data dictionary. The legend also allows users to customize the data by changing the year, the variable, the shaded by, isolating individual ranges, and even by creating your own cut points for the ranges. Point datasets contain address level data, such as libraries, museums, and public schools. Click on a point to view more information about that location. The point legend allows users to customize the icons by changing the size, type, and color. Use the legend to filter the point data by different categories. Once you're done creating your map, you can save it by clicking on the Save icon on the right side of the screen. And you can also export it by clicking on the Print icon. The print modal allows you to pan and zoom the map to match what you'd like to capture. Users have options to customize the map, including editing the title, the layout, and the format. We hope you now have a good understanding of some of the basics of Policy Map. Please visit our Help Docs page in the top right for tutorials and guides, and even a training calendar where you can sign up for our weekly sessions. For more questions, please email us at support at policymap.com.